Um, if I can ask you to put your hand up and wait for a microphone to come to you. Um, we've also got a simultaneous translation, and you'll see that the nice voice whistle just in case uh, we run over time. <laughs> so, um, who wants to go first? Mark. <coughs> Good evening. Um, question for Granite. Um, this season, Arsenal is scoring, he seems to be scoring two or three goals every game. How important is it for the club not just to be winning, but to be entertaining and, and giving the fans something to get excited about? Yeah, I think um, it's true. Yeah, we score two or three goals in each game, but um, it's not always too easy to score two or three goals um, in the games. But we know we have uh, good players in the front and in the offense, and yeah, we are happy in moments. Then all the players uh, can score. <coughs> uh, question for for Granite. Granite, you've obviously been playing alongside uh, Torreira uh, more recently. I just wondered uh, what you've made of him and what impact he has had on your game. I think you can see that um, he's um, important for us because um, he's a player in the defense, um, very strong in the duels. Um, he's a player, he plays easy, right to the side, in the front. And yeah, he helps the team a lot um, of the balance between the offense and defense. Can we just take two more questions for Granite and then we can turn this into TV? So, question for Granite. Boa tarde, Chaka, Bruno Andrade, da Go.com. Uma pergunta em português. Possible? Ok. Chaka, é, tendo em vista a grande temporada do Ozil, o início de temporada muito bom dele, o que ele mudou particularmente da temporada passada para essa? E se na sua opinião ele a jogar no alto nível, no melhor dele, é o melhor jogador da posição dele no mundo? So what was the question? Sorry, it was not so loud. Yes. Yeah, it's mezut. Yeah. I think mezut was always important for this team, uh, not only on the pitch, but. Um, off the pitch as well. Um, he showed um, very good games last few games um, on Monday. Very good game, and yeah, we are happy that we have in, in our in our team. Granite, just going back to Lucas Torreira, you talked about what he's done for the team. What has he done for you? How how do you feel now playing alongside Lucas? It seems like you're a little bit freer, not as many defensive responsibilities as before. Yeah, I said before, I think um, Lucas, um, he gave a good balance uh, in the team uh, between offense, defense. He let me make my game with the ball, um, let me go a little bit um, more in front and he can stay. But um, yeah, I'm happy with him and with the other guys that play in the midfield. Is your question for Granite? Um, okay, Granite, thank you very much. Thanks, Boa tarde, Unai. É Maria Cristiana Queiroz Alves para a SIC Notícias. Boa tarde. Tendo em conta o Sporting e o Arsenal são, os, na teoria, a partir dos favoritos deste grupo, tendo em conta isso, vai manter a ideia de rodar a equipa face a este facto, como tem feito nos últimos dois jogos da Liga Europa? Ah, in inglês? In English. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, for us, first, this, this competition is very, very important. And uh, the opposition tomorrow, Sporting Lisbon, is a, a very good team with a very big experience in, in this competition and, and also with a, a good player. He's ready this year. He was changing players and was changing also the, the coach. But uh, for us, uh, in this moment, we are two, two teams, uh, both in the first position, and 
and our our uh, mind is is alive the first in this group and, and also uh, continuing our our way with with uh, thinking also uh, how we can improve and, and tomorrow is a very big, big match uh, a, a important also a way for for our confidence for also uh, to try to to continue in working our, our our tactically things with with also the players and uh, with uh, a lot of respect for for them uh, tomorrow we 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 want uh, we will want to to, to win uh, against against uh, Sporting. Unai Emery, boa tarde. Uh, no caminho para a sua primeira conquista na, na Liga Europa em 2014, eliminou o Futebol Clube do Porto, venceu na final o Benfica. Espera que este ano, de fronte novamente uma equipa portuguesa, acabe por seguir o caminho do sucesso nesta Liga Europa. I had a lot of experience with with uh, Portuguese team. Uh, uh, the final against Benfica is very hard, and also I think of Porto and Sporting Lisboa is they are uh, two teams with a lot of experience. And uh, Sporting Lisboa, I am thinking uh, they they have also a lot of of uh, satin in in this competition. And uh, I think uh, we can, at the moment, uh, to be the the two teams, the, the fair favorite for for our life in the in this group. But uh, also, uh, we want uh, both to 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 win tomorrow and and uh, to be the possibility to to arrive the first. Boa tarde, boa tarde, Ana Emery e Diogo Oliveira, em direto para a Sport TV. Eu pergunto o que há a destacar na equipa do Sporting e se amanhã se orientasse a equipa do Sporting frente ao Arsenal, se seria um treinador feliz com a qualidade dos jogadores que teria à disposição? Bom, well, I, I know they 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 were they were changing things uh, and uh, Peseiro is a very good good coaches. He worked here. Uh, another time and uh, for him is a very good opportunity and he 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 knows very well uh, this club and and also this is one club with a very young player started here uh, his career like a figo like a cristiano ronaldo and uh, for for us uh, we we have a lot of respect for for them for the coach for the club for for the player and uh, now they are also uh, growing up with uh, different players, but with a very good organization uh, tactically and also with a, a quality like a lot of players. And for example, I know Mathieu, uh, we, we are with the, the news maybe tomorrow is, is, is with one injury, maybe not, don't play, but, but uh, Nani also is very good, good player and, and we have a lot of respect. Boa tarde, Nainé. É Maria para Tiago Labreca para a Sporting TV. Pergunto-lhe daquilo que conhece do Sporting e daquilo, claro, que estudou desta equipa portuguesa, se tivéssemos que colocar o Sporting numa realidade de Premier League, em que posição e em que objetivo é que colocaria o Sporting a lutar nesse campeonato inglês? Para mim, com a minha experiência de jogar com o Portugal, aqui nós jogamos, ou eu jogo com a Valencia em... In, uh, in the pre-season uh, against uh, Sport Lisboa six years ago, uh, I remember. And uh, for, for us, uh, this, uh, this club here, like a Benfica, like a Porto, like a Sport Lisboa, like a Sport in the Braga, uh, they have, they, they, they have a, a very high quality and, and also uh, they are very competitive team here in, 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 their, in their champion, but also in, in, in Europe. And uh, for them, it's a very good opportunity every every year to to play in, in Europe. Last year, for example, uh, they lost against uh, Atletico Madrid in Europe League. And, but uh, every year, they are they are doing a good way in in, in Europe and and in in the groups. Uh, for us and for them, uh, is the same uh, objective now is is to be the first in in, in this group. Who um, you, you changed to a back three in Azerbaijan against Karabag. Is a back three an option for you tomorrow night? Now we are we are finding the the, the best combination, the best uh, tactically idea we can we can uh, do our 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 best performance. 
And uh, sometimes, uh, some matches, they are a very good moment to, to try different options. Uh, and uh, tomorrow, now, not the, the, best, the best for us, because uh, uh, for our composition with the player, uh, I think tomorrow we are going to continue our tactical things like uh, uh, usually we are, we are doing. But uh, not uh, for the next matches, uh, I think is, is maybe uh, could, could be one possibility to, to do that. Aqui ao fundo, na Emery. Aqui ao fundo. Boa tarde, António Pedro Carvalho, RTP. Mesmo no fundo. Ah, ah ok. <laughs> Sendo o Arsenal uma equipa de, de Liga dos Campeões, isso é inegável, estando este ano na Liga Europa, o Arsenal é a grande favorita a vencer esta competição? Uh, I agree up a lot individually in this competition. And, and uh, in, in, in my career also, uh, I look at a lot of teams, how they, uh, they do the commitment in... in in uh, how they come, uh, how they can uh, find this uh, or their, their performance in, in this competition. And I think uh, this competition now for every team is very important because first is one title to, to, to play and also for, for uh, another teams uh, when, uh, when you win this competition, uh, you go directly to the championship, champion league for the next, next uh, year. And for us uh, here in, in Arsenal is is I am I am telling every players and I am telling them uh, the support and uh, in the club for us so for me it's very important also because it's one title to, to play it's also uh, one way to to go to the Champions League the next year and uh, I think we are here for for play for for win we are play, we are here for for play for for find the, the, all the titles they are in, in, the, in the way, and this is one. And this is one with a very high, high level in, in every team, like tomorrow, Sporting Lisboa. And also, in this competition, every year, there are a lot of teams uh, with a, 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 a the same idea uh, to find here uh, one title, and, and I think that the level now is very, very high in this competition. Unai, what would it mean if Bas Dost would play tomorrow for Arsenal? Ah, Dost. Ah, okay, okay. Our, our, our first uh, news is also uh, maybe, is, uh, I don't know is, if uh, he can play tomorrow, uh, Mathieu and, and, and Dost, but uh, if uh, they are on the pitch, uh, I think... Uh, uh, we want to play against the best player in the position and uh, because our, our best performance also is and our uh, best test is playing against the, 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 the best players in the, in the position team and if tomorrow is Dost and is also Mathieu in the, on the pitch for, for us is two players also to, we need to know and, 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 and to win with, with, with this player. Unai, it's a similar question to the one we asked Granite but only Manchester City have scored more goals than Arsenal this season in England. How important is it to you that Arsenal are entertaining to watch and fun to watch for the fans? We want the balance. The balance uh, to score a lot and also not uh, receive a lot of goals. But, but uh, for me, uh, the statistic individual for, for, for the score, the player, is, is very important. And, and also I think uh, the football for the supporter uh, is... is uh, uh, to be excited with 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 a, a very things on the pitch and the goals and the score is is very important for for this spectacle and uh, for me uh, with this balance uh, we want to score a lot and uh, with a, a, a different players and I want our, our striker uh, have a, a lot of chances to to score but uh, finding also the balance for defensively. Thank you. Thank you very much.